We gather here, as we have done for eight years now, to celebrate science and the brilliance of those being honored. We will make sure and not sacrifice that we still support, as we will do here this evening, the brilliance of science as judged by those who know science. So esteemed colleagues and friends, join me in welcoming tonight's honorees, the laureates and finalists of the 2025 Blavatnik Awards for Young Scientists. Tonight we welcome our 2025 finalists and laureates from the UK to the global community of Blavatnik scholars, which includes some of the world's most brilliant young scientists and engineers. It is simply remarkable to see Blavatnik Award scientists and engineers using science to advance the public good while helping to power the global economy in the UK and around the world. Congratulations to our first finalist in life sciences, Professor Nicholas Casewell. <laughs> Professor Andrew Sachs. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my great pleasure now to introduce to you our first laureate of the evening, Professor Christopher Stewart. Each of you are more microbial than you are human. At the cellular level, around 55% of your body is made up of microbes. And genetically, microbes account for over 99% of all of the genes in your body. This collection of microbes and their function is referred to as the microbiome, and it touches on almost all aspects of your physiology, from your day-to-day -day mood to your risk of developing certain diseases later in life. The key discoveries from my work have helped to identify the main drivers of infant microbiome development and their influence on health and disease. Let me present to you our first finalist in chemical sciences, Professor Brian Ahizowit. <laughs> Professor Chunxiao Song. <laughs> and now for our second laureate of the evening, Professor Liam Ball. We are driven by the question of how we can make the molecules that we need today and the molecules that we'll need tomorrow more quickly, more cleanly, and more cost-effectively than we do at present. Because molecules, chemistry, really are at the heart of everyday life. From the fibres and dyes in your clothes to the fragrances in your perfume or aftershave and the battery powering the smartphone in your pocket. Or perhaps more importantly, from the medicines you may need to the agrochemicals that put the food on our plates. The need to make the right molecule more quickly and more cleanly is only growing. Professor Hannah Price. <laughs> Professor Philip Reindler. And now it's time for our third and final laureate of the evening in the category of Physical Sciences and Engineering, Professor Benjamin J. W. Mills. I've been trying to build not Earth system models, but what we call Earth evolution models. These new types of model include the same processes as the Earth system models, but we need them to make predictions not over 100 years, but over millions or billions of years. We want to watch these computerized planets evolve from being lifeless rocks to becoming self-sustaining and life-supporting worlds. So friends and colleagues, here's to the exceptional 2025 Blavatnik Award and Young Scientists finalists and laureates, but more importantly, here's to science. Science. <laughs>